And thank you, Rick Santelli. The Supreme Court is back in session, beginning a new term dominated by cases of major importance to corporate America. CNBC's Hampton Pearson joins us from outside the Supreme Court with uh, some details on some of the cases they're going to be hearing. Hampton. Hi, Michelle. Well, the High Court has already issued two rulings of interest to Wall Street uh, today. Uh, first of all, the High Court refusing to hear former Quest CEO Joseph Dacchio's appeal of his insider trading conviction. He began serving a six-year prison sentence in April. And the government's effort to collect nearly $20 billion in royalties on offshore oil leases from Anadarko Petroleum has been rejected by the High Court. The justice is agreeing with a lower court that the Interior Department could not collect royalties even as oil Oil prices and company profits were on the rise. Two new rulings on what was already a business-heavy docket for the Supreme Court. More than two dozen cases focused on things like executive pay, intellectual property, even opening the door to a partial repeal of Sarbanes-Oxley. The top business case, Bilski versus Kapos, at issue. Can unique business methods be patented? The question before the justices is, for example, a commodity hedging strategy worth a patent. Executive pay and shareholders holders' rights collide in Jones v. Harris Associates. The high court must decide whether mutual fund shareholders can sue advisors for charging excessive fees. The struggle for the court here is over what standards, if any, do they really want to write onto this statute to govern the compensation. It's a huge case for the fund industry, obviously, and for investment advisors. It's a huge case for shareholders because it'll govern how much these people can charge. Another huge case, Free Enterprise Fund versus public, the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board, focuses on at what point does lack of presidential control over independent agencies violate the separation of powers principle. That's an important line in the sand as Congress and the administration craft regu major regulatory reform. So by the end of this coming term, we will know a lot more about how this high court views the whole issue of regulating business. Bill?